So we are done with that. Okay. Now we'll start off with grasslands. So what are grasslands? See exactly the picture that you see where the lions and the pride of lions are sitting. They have long and thick grasses, not the grasses that we have in the park and the garden. These thick grasses are as tall or taller than us. The leaves are very broad, thick grasses. Temperature is somewhere between minus 20 to 30 degrees Celsius, right? But, uh, you know, they would also have a proper winter and summer. Winters are very harsh. Minus 20 is really, really, really cold. Freezing, below freezing temperature, no? Summers are okay. Right? Now lions normally live in the forest. They possess the skin color so as to match their environment. During the summers, what happens? The grass becomes all dry. And which is the color that happens when the grass becomes dry? Like a brown. Like the, brown the lion lion color. The color yes. of the lion grass. So the skin color of the lion, it is a little brownish, yellowish hue. And it's a it wonderful color. It is a wonderful way for the lion to camouflage itself. It will be all covered till this much. Only the eyes and the head will pop out. And nobody can make out that there's a lion sitting there. Right? Yeah. It's a really deer. For, hunt, for them to hunt animals. Yeah. For example, even the deer, they possess long ears to have sharp hearing sense. Remember, this is what we were discussing. They yeah. are also wonderful. They are also, deers are also wonderful at camouflaging. Because they also have that similar golden yellowish color. Right? They, they will live in grasslands? Yeah, of course. If there's a lion, there would be lion, a, a deer. Yeah. Right? There would be fewer trees. Now, every deer will not live in grasslands. There would be certain species of deer which will live in forests also. Like the reindeer. Yeah, you will find it in our... That live in forests. Yeah, you find, you find a reindeer in a you know, a snowy area, maybe in a boreal or a temperate forest, you'll find a deer. You'll find a deer in grasslands. You will find a deer in tropical forest. But just the species of the deer will be very different. Ma'am, when we say tropical, when we say, you know, terrestrial, 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 we did, we said forests, grasslands, Polar regions, but why don't we mention the zoo? There are many animals there. That is a man-made habitat. That's not a natural habitat. We have yeah. made this not an artificial habitat. But it's, an, it's a habitat, right? It is a habitat, but we are not discussing about anything artificial. Then we would also discuss about cities. We yeah. would also discuss about our houses, which is also a habitat. But we are not discussing. We're just discussing about whatever is natural habitat. Now we come to desert. I'm sure all of you are aware of the desert habitat. It is yeah, temperature really hot at morning at, at the daytime and really cold at the night. Correct. They receive scanty rainfall, matlab, almost negligible rainfall. They are mostly hot regions, but there are certain deserts which are too cold also. Uh, rain received like. I didn't understand that. Why is it so? I didn't get it. See, every uh, meteorologist, sorry, there's something called a meteorology department. Meteorologist. Their work is to measure the temperature, rainfall, moisture of, okay. any, of any place. It could be a city, it could be a village, it could be a country, right? So, when we have to say that this place, Kerala, has got an average temperature of 30 degrees Celsius, we also have to mention what is the annual rainfall that Kerala receives. Maybe 80 to 100 milliliter of rainfall annually, every year. Then so, why ma'am it is written like centimeter? Sorry, sorry, centimeter. What actually happens is that, you know, they actually have a tool which looks like a test tube and you know it is calibrated like this one two three four karke aise calibrated so they actually when there is rainfall they collect the raindrops rainfall here and they keep on collecting it throughout the year as in you know whenever it rains they record okay today there was 50 centimeter of rainfall it's like a scale next day it rained oh that is 30 centimeter of rainfall today 
then how, how like, how do I tell? like i didn't understand how like 50 cm uh, how from where it is measuring i didn't get that it is written out here no 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 it's measuring measured here no in this test tube calibrated okay. whatever rainfall is being collected they keep on adding 30 plus 50 oh tuesday it was 10 cm january it was 10 centimeter then they add up and they say this year there was 200 centimeter of rainfall in the full year in Kerala. you know there are plants like the cactus thorny plants which are prevalent obviously because there's lack of water they have modified leaves which have converted into spines the last portion is the second last is a mountain area now mountains like xerophytes yeah. What are xerophytes? Xerophytes are plants which grow in the desert area. What is the doubt that you have in grasslands? Like uh, grasslands, there. Uh, I want to ask that is there many trees there? No, no. In grasslands, remember in forests, I told you the trees are very close to each other like this, of different yeah. height, different size. In grasslands, this is the distance of trees right so in mountains the regions are normally rocky and dry as we discussed right at times there could be flowing streams like the himalaya mountains have got quite a few flowing streams there in those areas vegetation is good or else if it's rocky and dry it's going to be a dry rocky mountain with the height of the mountain the temperature will fall down that's what we discussed even oxygen level will fall down higher the mountain animals will be less plants will be less Mom, I would like to ask that in the deserts, it is sand because uh, is it because it is too hot and the soil came into like a rusted something like that? Yeah, because sand it absorbs heat, so it catches the heat for a very long time. That's the reason why, you know, if this is the sand, if this is the sand out here. You know, and this all the sunlight that it has trapped, it will keep within it the sunlight or the heat for a very long time. And slowly, slowly throughout the day, throughout the evening, it will keep on, you know, evaporating. Or, you know, uh, heat transfer happens. Now, why? what happens at night? We know that hot air always goes up, towards upward. So there will be a time when the top layer will be all hot air. And what is expected? replacing the hot air cold air so at night the desert will become cold and at day the desert is hot is it clear now yeah okay so you will know that yak beer hill goats these are in very cold areas flying foxes are also certain example what are flying foxes these are not foxes these are a kind of squirrels if this is the squirrel like this with a tail, this is the limbs like this, right? So they have webbed limbs. So they, they look as if it's like a flying fox. Yeah, ma'am. Like I have learned uh, these types of squirrels in my general knowledge class. Mm. Uh, now we come uh, to the region. We know polar region. It's all snow and snow throughout the year. So what have the animals adapted to? Of course, as I said, they have adapted to the white fur. They've also adapted to a layer of fat. What are that known as? The layer of fat. It is known as the blubber. It's a thick layer of fat. It is like very... No, no, how to ask that. In the mountains, there are also xerophytes. Plants no, known no, as... No, no, no. There, they are comparing it to xerophytes. They are tell, telling oh, okay. just like xerophytes. Zero okay, are found in the deserts only. Okay, I understand. Now the fat that they have is used as reserved food. When they do not get much fish or animals to eat, they convert that fat into energy. It's like wearing a sweater made out of fat. You'll find polar bears, seals, foxes, all with, you know, mainly with white fur, penguins, right? The fish also have adapted kind to the ice cold water there. That's the kind of fish that's found there. 